Hi friends, welcome to Tech Tutorials in Telugu by Teja. In this channel, we are going to learn about Linux, Windows, VMware and cloud computing platforms. Please do support by subscribing. Now, let's get into today's topic. Hi friends, in this video, let us see how to configure uh, DNS configuration for ESXi host in Active Directory. To say what exactly the lab in brief we are going to configure the ESXi host records in DNS uh, let us go into the practical firstly see in our lab environment uh, we had our domain controller domain controller IP address is 192.168.29.200 and vCenter IP is 192.168.29.210 Firstly, you can understand the lab by this. See, if I am accessing the vCenter by using the IP address over here. For example, if I enter my IP address, I am getting this console page, right? I am using view. If I go and type the vCenter also, vCenter.teslagroup.co.in, I am going to get the same view over here. You can see both the views doesn't make any difference because here I am accessing with the IP address and here I am accessing with the host name. Let me log in over here. See, once I log in to the vCenter, right, uh, you can see the ESXi host over here. This is the data center, this is the cluster, and these are the ESXi host we had uh, on our lab environment. In this ESXi host, if you see 192.168.29.202. See, I'm able to access the ESXi host by using the IP address, but this doesn't have any of the DNS record, right? That is the reason we are going to configure the record for 202 as well as 203. For example, dot two zero two. Jaxi host 2 is 192.168.29.203. Right here, we are going to configure the host here record for this. See how, like, let us name it as ESXi01 and this one as ESXi02. Let us see how to configure this in Active Directory domain controller firstly. For that, we need to log into our domain controller. In our lab environment, the domain controller IP address is 200, right? I'm going to log in as a domain administrator over here. Once I log in, open the DNS management. This is the DNS manager. In this, if you come and expand the domain, right, you'll be having all the host records over here. Here you can see multiple host records, right, but we don't have any host record for the ESXi. So what we are going to do is right click, create a new host record and just give the type the host name. What we have chosen, ESXi01 is the first one, right, and give the IP address 192.168. 29.202 I guess let me cross check yeah 202 is ESXA1 right once you are done just check this PTR record also click add this is done and let us do the same with the second one as well ESXA02 no need to enter the FQDN name friends once you give the host name right uh, it will just fetch the complete FQDN name along with your domain okay I am going to add the IP address 192.168.29.203 is the second one and I'm going to create the PTO record also. Click OK. You are done with creation of the host records over here. You can cross check by using the CMD. Okay, go to NS lookup and just type ESXi01. You can see you got the IP address in the same ESXi02. You can cross check the reverse lookup zone also 192.168.29.202. I think we have used this for the RODC previous legacy. Okay, let us check with the 3203. 
yeah 203 is fine but 202 we are getting an error you can see this was used for the rodc read only domain controller i guess earlier lab for that what how to troubleshoot you know go to the reverse lookup zone expand the zone here you just find the entry for the rodc over here this is not a static record this is a dynamic one you can see you can delete this one because the rodc lab has been completed i was done with the decommission also so I have deleted. Once you delete it, uh, clear the screen. Yes, we have to exit and clear the screen. CLS. And just type Linus lookup again. Now you just give the IP address of the 92.168.29.202. Why it's not fetching? 202. I still have the record over here, but still it's not fetching. ESX. ESX. Okay, let's close and open. Let's refresh it firstly. Clear cache. Refreshed it. Open the CMD. or two zero two. Sorry, two zero two. It's not twenty twenty. perfect you can see here right now the name has been resolved let us check with the other one already we have gone through it 192 168 29.203 <coughs> excuse me see for 202 we got esx 01 and for 203 we got esx 02 you can check in lab uh, practical also by accessing the name you should be able to fetch that esxi page friends okay uh, i'll show in the lab environment here i'm just type the ip address so we got this console page right by entering the esxi 01 domain name also we should be able to get the page you can see here got it see here i have typed the name host name here i have entered with the ip address both gives the same console login view okay you can do with the same other one as well 120.203 you'll get a login page and if you enter esxi 02 see you got the login prompt you can either you can go with the ip address either you can go with the host name friends yeah this is all about the lab today thank you friends have a nice day